A failed experiment turned them into transparent monsters. Only by consuming the eyeballs of children with superpowers could they briefly regain their human form. Consequently, the monsters began hunting down the superhumans who resided in an orphanage. Jack's grandfather was once one of these superhumans and often told Jack stories about them. One day, Jack decided to visit his grandfather who warned him of the danger and urged him not to come. Ignoring the warning, Jack found his grandfather's eyes gouged out upon arrival. Before passing away, the grandfather instructed Jack to visit the orphanage. He had mentioned before, promising Jack that all the answers to his questions could be found there. Jack arrived at the island his grandfather spoke of, only to find the orphanage in ruins, destroyed by German fighter planes in 1943. Despite this, Jack decided to explore. In the ruins, a woman in white suddenly appeared alone with a few children. Jack was terrified and turned to run but stumbled over a stone and fell unconscious. Upon waking, Jack found himself surrounded by six individuals who had appeared in his grandfather's bedtime stories. They led Jack into a cave that could transport them back to 1943, where each child possessed a unique superpower. The girl picked up the large chicken leg in front of her, then lifted her hair and extended the meat towards the back of her head. In just a few seconds, the chicken leg was completely not clean. Tom could release bees. Milor was transparent. Mike could animate puppets. Olivia could boil water with her hands. Jenny could accelerate plant growth. There's also Emma, whose body is lighter than air. She can fly directly into the sky by taking off her specially made iron shoes. The woman, Miss Peregrine, was the owner of the castle and possessed the ability to control time. One day, as German fighter planes flew overhead, Miss Peregrine halted time with her stopwatch, causing bullets and raindrops to freeze. They were trapped in a time loop to evade the monster's pursuit. Live in the same day forever, repeating endlessly. As the day for Jack's departure approached, Emma took Jack underwater, providing him with an oxygen mask and used her superpower to drain the water from the cabin, handing Jack a box containing photos of the monsters and a map marked with time loop locations. Per Jack's grandfather's request, confused, Jack was taken to the seaside by Emma, where they encountered Miss Peregrine, prepared to face a giant monster. Miss Peregrine remained calm, pulling the trigger and swiftly killing the monster with one sword stroke. Emma told Jack, The monsters are transparent. You've inherited your grandfather's superpower, and you're the only one who can see them now. Miss Peregrine can kill the monsters because she has precise control over time, combined with the markings your grandfather made on the ground, allowing her to kill the monsters blindly. Miss Peregrine successfully slew the monster. However, the monsters kidnapped Miss Peregrine for further experiments, with Miss Peregrine missing and the impending arrival of the giant monster. Jack led the others in preparing for battle. As a three-meter-tall monster breached the walls, the children found themselves helpless due to the creature's transparency. Only Jack could see it and intervene to save Mike. They retreated to the attic, just as the bombers were about to arrive. In a dire moment, Emma removed her iron shoes, carrying Jack to safety just as the monsters and bombers arrived. They recruit on the beach, intending to rescue Miss Peregrine. Tom unleashed Beast to disrupt the enemy. The twins removed their masks. Mike activated a puppet elephant, one who crushed a monster to death. While on the other side, Jack encountered the director at the laboratory door. Emma and Mike heard the noise and came to support, only to find that they were actually to Jack's crest. One of them is the director transformed. Emma was completely bewildered, but just then, a monster broke him. Jack could see it, but the director couldn't and was directly blinded by the monster. In the end, Jack successfully rescued Miss Peregrine, and they returned to the island to live peacefully together.